Hi guys! We're finally back! Sorry we've been gone for so long, but... I mean, seriously, when the games industry comes knocking at your door... You make sure to disarm the bear traps you have outside. Is that what happened to the mailman that one time? <laughs> okay, but seriously! <laughs> when the games industry comes to you, you don't say no. <laughs> and as a result of me working on Hardcore Mecha, other doors have actually been opened for me, so thank you very much for being patient. It's still gonna be in about another week from here, maybe two, before we're back to our normal full Steam releases, because I also have some game testing that I have to work on. Like, seriously, <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that really cool? <laughs> Like, I'm going to have my own personal test build on Steam that requires me to, like, input different types of data in order to access it. To make sure all the text fits and stuff, right? Among a few other things, yeah. <laughs> but enough bragging and being happy about things that have happened to me. I want to thank you very much for being patient and for not giving up on us, even though we were gone for, like, two weeks. So as my last shameless plug before we get back to Steins Gate, Hardcore Mecha launches on the PlayStation Store sometime in October, and I believe my script will be there for the day one patch. So everybody go buy it because it's really cool. I mean, or not, but that is what I've been doing for so dang long. <laughs> so Steins Gate, here we go. And here we go to the intro we originally recorded for this episode. Billy, that's too technical detail -y. Well, you spent all this time blabbing. I wanted to say something. I'm the guy who writes the jokes around here. Technically, Billy did write an epic pun for Hardcore Mech. I'm gonna... That's enough out of you. On with the show. Uh, we ended the last episode at a very awkward stopping place, sort of in the middle of a scene. And so now we begin the episode in the middle of an awkward stopping place in the middle of a scene? Yeah, just like old times. <sighs> <laughs> uh, drives us to be nostalgic. A nostalgia drive, if you will. Speaking of old timers, we're the bittersweet gamers. I'm Cranky Squared. And I'm an old bald man. <laughs> Seriously, the last episode was great. Mm -hmm. It feels like we're closing in on... Well, on the end, I suppose. So again, we were we kind of stopped at an awkward point. Uh, Okabe had like a heart to heart with Kurisu. Mm -hmm. First there was tension, then the tension was dispelled, then the tension came back. Like some kind of rubber band. Yeah, actually. Anyway, she said, "Save Mayuri, you idiot." <laughs> and she has like a different perspective on this. That's kind of what we're talking about right now. Is that perspective that she holds? Yes. Yeah, like the way that she's been looking at it is sort of from a strictly own perspective kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I think this is a really fascinating way to look at it but I don't think that we as humans exist sort of outside of space, time, and reality. Which yeah. Is, like, this is an artistic way to look at this stuff. But it doesn't really seem like that's how it works. It'd be one thing entirely if we were talking about revolutionary girl Utena or Mawaru <laughs> Penguin Drum, <laughs> where this would very much be... Where you can't actually say that what you're seeing on the screen and what the characters are experiencing on the screen is in fact what they are really experiencing. Right, Because right. quite clearly that's not the case as they become more surreal. Those are both good shows, by the way. Yeah, I really love them both. But I guess that is, I guess Penguin Drum specifically is what this is, what Kurisu's perspective here is reminding me of. If everyone all left and I was the only one who stayed here, will I be existing in an empty world? And that just makes me think of very specific imagery from Penguin mm -hmm. Drum. Mm -hmm. I need to say it. You're not just one person. You're not just one person. 
Do you have an idea of how you can do that? Yeah, he didn't sound very confident when he said that. I know that's what he wants, and that would be ideal. And that's probably what the true end's gonna be. Right. Somehow, but... But can he do it? He has the luxury of the ability to try. Mm -hmm. If he's not going to devote himself to it, then you can't just half-heartedly say, I'm going to do it without at least trying to come up with some kind of a plan. Mm -hmm. That's got to be what the true ending is. Right. But knowing that, expecting that, based on what we have now, I, I just don't think it's possible. Until we figure out how to arrive at the true ending. Yeah, we have to get something else... And that's how we're going to get there. And yeah. he doesn't have that something else. And if he doesn't look for that something else, he won't have it. Admittedly, if he does change everything and time travel never gets invented, then he won't be able to do anything, but... Well, you can get to those points where you can't change anything, yeah. What is the meaning of consciousness? What does it mean to be conscious? means you're awake and standing and walking around and thinking and things like that. I know you're kind of making an offhanded joke, but that's actually extremely complex. Those are extremely complex ideas, and you don't... Nobody knows what those mean. Fine, if you just want to trump on over my joke. By taking it completely seriously? Why, yes, I will. Well, that's how you do it, yeah. How to put this? It's like she's considering what is it like to die without dying. Hmm. How or maybe he won't disappear and the Okabe from this world line will still be here. Mm. You can't even prove that other people actually exist and you're not a brain in a jar so how can you really make strong statements about this you know <laughs> which, which is what she is saying yeah good job kurisu もう。なんか寒いな。濡れてる服着てるせいね。たく。ダメだ。こんなの全然論理的じゃない。仮説にすらなってない。全部根拠のない妄想。こんなしょうもない妄想垂れ流すのの機能をカットしてやりたい。
but because she knows it's the right thing to do or believes it's the right thing to do. Yeah. And that kind of makes it even worse. So Based on the way he has been behaving and talking about this entire affair and everything that has happened up to this point, there is no way that he has abandoned anyone. Yeah. It's always like this when she scolds me. Always the same glare. Based on the facts that are available, the logical choice with the overall best end for the most people involved and the most people involved that are close to you is to save Mayuri. Yeah. Saving Mayuri saves him and Daru from the times that they die because it changes all that. Saves her, too, in a way. Yeah. Uh, uh, you think she wants to be kidnapped and coerced into perfecting time travel? I hate this choice with no right answer. I hate the universe for being so cruel. ありがとう。私のためにそこまで苦しんでくれて。でも、もう十分。私は大丈夫だから。あとは、マユリのことだけ考えて。I need to decide, here and now, once and for all. I need to determine the future of the world. I I was really worried a choice was going to pop up because I haven't been given an update to the guide by Monokuma. Yeah, I was kind of wondering myself. But this is clearly, I feel that this is where it splits from the normal end to the true end. Like when the time comes, then we'll make the choice or it'll automatically go to the true end. Does, doesn't this kind of seem like the pivotal moment? What do I... Mayuri da ke wa... Doushite mo sukuitai ka na... Omae wo... You know, the whole game has essentially been about the meaning of choices. Uh. A greedy man trying to have everything slowly being forced to choose to discern the things that, that he must, like, prioritize when making his choices. The choice of Stein's Gate, as it were. Yeah, the choice of Stein's Gate. And, like, him having to come to terms with and be at peace with those choices, which is a, well, a pretty good theme. <laughs> the choice of Stein's Gate, indeed. I'd forgotten that phrase. Mm. Okabe gets off pretty lucky, honestly. At least he gets to face all of these people and be able to talk to them about it. When I finish... I feel as if a great weight has left my shoulders. And at the same time, as if a thousand needles are stabbing into my heart. To America? To the lab? Yeah, to the lab, like I thought. 
シャワーも浴びたいし。In that case, we should go back together. But before I can suggest it, Grisu beats me to the punch as if she read my mind. Anta was so good, Zubunure no mama, s h i b a r a k u m a t e t e It would only make it harder for him. Yeah, absolutely that. She's trying to give him an out. Wakata. We can't go back together. That's her verdict. That's the whole point of all of this, isn't it? Wakata. Even though it's the middle of summer and the air conditioning isn't working, I can't stop shivering. The rain might have something to do with that, but. There's no way I can look Kurisu in the eye anymore. I realize that part of me is glad that we didn't have to return to the lab together. Okay, hold on just one second. As I pull myself out of character, God damn it, you idiot! Can't you respect what she did? If you can't even look her in the dang eye, she looked you in the eye. Yeah. She knows what you're feeling. She's feeling something too. It's possibly worse for her, possibly not. It doesn't matter. But she could look you in the eye. At the very freaking least, you have to accept what you've done or, or what you're going to do. And you have to accept it without any regret. This is the sort of thing that gnaws at you over time. She helped you come to this decision. You can't resent her for it. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. My self loathing echoes in the darkness. I wait about two hours before returning to the lab. Kudisu's already gone when I get there. I already got in touch with Daru. The hacking starts tomorrow afternoon. Now it's just waiting. I chose Mayuri. I will let Kurisu die. Showering didn't soften the wrenching pain in my heart, and I didn't really expect that it would. <laughs> really? And now to make it worse. The look on her face as she came in, that, that little sort of triangle frown she had. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should explain the situation to Mayuri. I'm gonna go out on a limb right here. No, he darn well had better not explain the situation to Mayuri. We're not talking about the true end, get right, right. everything you want, right, mag right. magical Christmas time. No, I'm sure it's going to be awesome, but we're not talking about that, okay? He had darn well better not explain anything to Mayuri because you know exactly what she's going to tell him to do. Uh huh. And that ain't going to help, and that's the wrong thing. That's not Mayuri's fault. He can explain it to her after. after. Kind of feels like chickening out if he explains it now. Like, normally, that's not what we would say. Right. But specifically, it is because of the individual response of the people. We weren't sure that Kurisu would say, Save Mayuri, but she did. But we are sure that Mayuri <laughs> will say, Save Kurisu. And he'll just be right back where he started. Can I really let it end like this? Shouldn't I tell her what Kurisu is sacrificing for her sake? No, I dumped a bucket of water on my head just so I could wear a towel. <laughs> oh! Okari, shampoo no yin yoi ga suru ne. Yamenka!
オカリンのこと気になっちゃったのですオカリンの辛そうな顔を思い出したらねコミマを楽しんでなんかいられないなってだから有明まで行ったけど参加せずに帰ってきたのそうか悪かったな心配かけて<笑>かえっ<笑> Should I tell her? No! Or should I keep her in the dark? Look, telling her. I can't. Okarin to Hanasuji can. Choto Hitchata. Telling her about what's happened is fine, but you can't tell her about this choice. Takarane Mayushi wa Samishku na chata no kama shire nai ne. マユリもし俺がお前に隠し事をしてるって言ったらどう思う、uh, rather obvious because I read you like a book. <laughs>、uh, that yes. <laughs> 実はオカリンとクリスちゃんは付き合っていますっていう。びっくりなこと<笑>なぜそうなる ?Oh, from an earnest heartfelt fear <笑>でもね、オカリンとクリスちゃんはとっても仲がいいでしょ二<笑>人はお似合いだと思うな。Oh, no, you don't! そんな話をしているんじゃないんだ。あ,あ、うん。<笑>全部。話してほしいなんて思ってないよ。人質だからね。どっちかっていうと、何にも教えてもらえないのが普通だもん。そんな話をしているんじゃないんだ。He has the best horrified, troubled, like n y a n d e r u face. <笑>だからオカリンが言ってくれるまで待つの昨日もそう言ったよ一生言わないかもしれないぞそれはねとっても気になっちゃうけどでもしょうがないかなその隠していることがお前に関係していることでもマユシーに俺はお前を傷つけたくなくて話さないでいるんだそのせいでオカリンは辛い顔してるのかな<笑> There are many reasons why Okarin has looked sad. だからね、話してほしいな。Indeed, indeed there are. オカリンが辛そうなの、見たくないもん。それでお前は、傷ついてもいいって言うのか。うん。She's stronger than you think, man. 昨日もさっきも言ったよ。マユシーは、オカリンの重荷になりたくないってあのねマユシーがおばあちゃんのことで苦しかった時オカリンはマユシーを人質にしてくれたでしょだからねもしオカリンが苦しい時はマユシーが力になってあげたいってずっと思ってたんだよ He kind of won't let her, but... yeah, well. マユシーなんかじゃちっとも役に立たないかもしれないけど。Well, don't underrate yourself here. She does a lot just by being there. A lot. Useful. Useful? <sighs> Mayuri is going to die tomorrow. 
I've been through it once before. What? Once. Excuse you? Ah, uh, this one particular, I guess? Why? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. She died protecting me, and her last words were... Could be useful, yeah. So this is what she meant. If that's how she feels, I'll tell her everything. Please do. Also, the face. Stop! He's ruining the mood! <laughs> yeah, this is serious, remember? <laughs> Those rectangle eyes with square pupils or irises. Perhaps the pupils are also square. Stop! They're still squares! お前が見た夢とも関係しているそして俺はこの後お前のためにえ せいぜい後悔するがいいこの俺狂気のマッドサイエンティストである法院教魔が行ってきた恐るべき所業の数々を聞いてなうぅはははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははは
not going to look down on her or anything like that. Especially if he's going to tell her like that. It's when it comes to the choice, though. お前が責任を感じる必要はないのだ。全てはこの俺による計画なのだからな。厳密した構えより。ガッダンゲ。仲間を平気で犠牲にできる男。故にお前がベータ世界線に行きたくないと言っても、それを聞き入れるつもりは
俺はマユリを選んだのだマユリには救われる義務があるのだ<笑> If he doesn't keep up the grandstanding he can't do it because it's always been like his way of grounding himself If he wavers at this point I will destroy him You got yourself into this You better carry it through all the way buddy boy Pain stabs through my heart. It didn't have to be like this, but you chose that. What do you, what do you mean? Telling Mayuri. Ah, these words are reprehensible. Chris is the one who 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 the thing is, is Mayuri and Kurisu are pretty okay at dealing with Kilma. I, I just think that they'll see right through him. I'm sure they will. Well, I mean, Mayuri most definitely, but at this point, maybe Kurisu too. I clench my fists tight, trying desperately to suppress my self hatred. でも私はもう自分の中で結論を出したし納得もしてるから知ってるあんたって岡部にものすごい愛されてるってほえほらなななほらあれでアシステルアイドルティクリッドクライコーダーファーな何を言い出すのだ<笑>事実でしょ Half of her in the light, half of her in the dark. Yeah. So, if she dies, Okabe will be very sad. Okabe will not be able to do that. But... If Chris-chan is not able to do that, Mayushi will be sad. That's right. あえなくなると寂しいかなでもどうせ私は生きてたってアメリカに帰るつもりだったわけだしそういうもんだ<笑><笑> She uses a gentle tone as if speaking to a child. Yeah, you damn well better not. <laughs> She's grandstanding too. Just hers is tsundere mode. <sighs> I'm sorry. All the lab mems have the masks that they wear. Chuni, tsundere, fua fua, pervert. Go on. That's really about it. <laughs> <laughs> I repeat the words in my heart again and again, begging for forgiveness. Kurisa,行かないで、行かないでよ。ついてこないで。登場なんてしないで。惨めになるだけだから。これは私が決めたことなの。マユリに何を言われたってもう揺るがない。
she has to face this burden all at once. She doesn't have the luxury of, of letting it sink in over time. Mm -hmm. She doesn't. If you want to blame someone, blame the freaking universe. Blaming the universe is probably really unhealthy. <laughs> You're right. It's like saying you can't accept anything. クリスには消えてもらう。俺はクリスを助けない。そして世界には。well, as long as you look at this as the choice of Stein's gate, then he did choose to bring chaos to the world. Of course, all of that is sort of code. The choice of Stein's gate is the way that things must be. Or at least what he chooses. Yeah. But bringing chaos to the world is what he really wants. No, 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 no. I think you misunderstood what I just said, judging by the, the expression on your face. Bring chaos to the world equals what I really want. Ah, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, so this is the choice that he made is what he really wanted. I mean, sort of, like like I said, looking at these as, as like phrases with those meanings. <laughs> Okay. Okay, dude. <laughs> I feel like you don't understand Mayuri on no, like no, a no. very primal level. No, 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 no. It, 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 it's not that he doesn't understand her. He, he's just projecting his own feelings. He, what he just said was, I can't forgive myself. I hate myself. Please hate me too. But mainly the first part. Yeah. お前には最後まで付き合ってもらう。俺は俺は俺はお前を救うためにクリスを見殺しにする。だから、お前がどれだけ俺を恨もうと、俺の意見に反対しようと。Don't be so hard on yourself. もう。後戻りするつもりはない。俺の野望は誰にも止められない。He's like halfway into Kilma and halfway not. I mean, is he ever gonna be able to forgive himself? Well, that's a start. In some ways he has been, but, you know, <laughs> how I really feel. オカリンが心の中で思ってることは素直な言葉で聞きたいよ。マユシーはね、もう重みになりたくないから。Stop it. なってねえよ。なってるわけないだろう。これは俺の英語だ。俺がお前を助けたいだけだ。お前を失いたくないだけだ。I actually feel as though these words might bear more weight if he didn't say similar stuff in the other girl's endings. <laughs> but doesn't that kind of mean he was serious in the other girl's endings? What do you mean? That he would respond the same way? Sure, and I'm not doubting his sincerity at any point, but it's like, as something climactic, it's mm. less so when the same thing has been repeated. Okay, okay, I see what you're saying. I mean, like, from, from the character's perspective, of course he's always been genuine with this stuff, uh, but from the viewer's perspective, mm. I, I feel like it just has less, like, a lessened impact. 
いつも見てた怖い夢も Well, we'll put a stop to those. Coming back just in a small way to explore the game's theme, you know, of, of, cho of choices, of, of decisions. It's like everybody that he chooses becomes extremely happy and grateful and always seems surprised. And I, I just think that's an interesting, something interesting to point out. Hmm, hmm indeed. Hmm. I don't know necessarily where I'm going with that. So, ずっと well, duh, you big dummies. Dang well better after everything you just went through, Jesus. Dumps her in three weeks. Mad scientist Hoi Kyoma's body was found face down in the river. <laughs> what, did Billy kill him? No, Billy doesn't exist in this world line. <laughs> she just wanted to hear him say it. I feel like Mayushi is like the strongest, emotionally strongest person in the game. Yeah, I agree with that. Huh? <laughs> 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 I mean, the way it should be. Because it's obviously what it was the whole time. So, Operation Verdandi. phase of Moment of truth. What's gonna happen? Well, either the game is about to end, mm -hmm. and then we move on to working our way towards the true ending, or there's gonna be an, an additional complication or what's most likely, both of those is true. Like, there's about, <laughs> there's about to be an additional complication that's awful, and we're going to have to deal with that. And then the game ends. Yeah. Okay. Today is the last day of Komima. Doru wanted to attend, of course, but I don't give a <laughs> rat behind. <laughs> a little begging convinced him to prioritize the operation. After all, he gets to go to Komima every year. He'll be able to go again next year. But only today does he have the chance to save the world. These 20 days have seen constant change. It's incredible to think that at one point, this lab had a whole eight members. They were never all here at the same time and never will be, but... That would be really crowded. Now, we are back to three. I mean, technically, the others are still lab mins, but I guess we kicked them out, officially. Well, also, once he fixes everything, it's going to be back to them, too. Well, yeah. <laughs> the memories we made. The experiences we shared. To save Mayuri, I will undo them all. There is sorrow in me. I've been struggling with it throughout half the game. And guilt. But still, the choice must be made. I choose to erase our memories. I choose to return everything to normal. Suzuha's mission's irrelevant. I'm not doing this for the future. Clearly, or you wouldn't have struggled so much. I just 
I just can't sympathize with this point of view of I'm not doing this for the future, who cares about that mission? I don't have a problem with somebody being selfish. I don't have a problem with someone strongly wanting someone, so, someone, something, whatever. I don't have a problem with you valuing something that you want more than the fate of the world. What I mind is somebody actually being in a position where the fate of the world is relevant and them hostilely assuming that it does not. I, I just can't get behind that. He can want whatever he wants and he can want it more than anything else and he can want it however much he wants it. <laughs> Do you think it makes you cool? To have the fate of your of the world in your hands and be like, not that I give a crap. It's not like I'm doing this for the future, Baka. Like if it were that, that'd be different. <laughs> and if they didn't want that to be a part of the game, then <laughs> why did they make it such a big point? I mean, you could say it makes you edgy or something. Is that some sort of a value? <laughs> Only if you're a sword. See, the thing is, all right. <laughs> like again, I'm not disparaging the value of wanting what you want. In a game that seems to be focusing on, like, morality, doesn't it feel kind of amoral? Okarin cares very, very much about the feelings of the people close to him, but will happily throw their own futures down the toilet just right? for something. It, it's like, in a game about choices, mm. if they didn't want this to be an issue, they just shouldn't have had it be present in the game. Yeah, Mayuri's death could have been perfect. That's it. That's all it could have been. Mayuri's death. That could have been the only main thing that drove him, as it did. It certainly would have affected the way that we looked at it, because it's like, uh, gotta save the world, yo. I mean, look, none of us are ever... I guess it's theoretically possible that this is incorrect, but none of us are ever going to be in a situation where the fate of the world lies on our shoulders. I should hope not. But if the fate of the world did lie on your shoulders... Are you saying you'd go, F the fate of the world! Ugh, I'm, the trash. I'm cool for not caring about the fate of the world! The poses are what did it. Yeah, I did poses because everybody could see them. I'll shut up now. <laughs> for what it's worth, I agree with your stats. I mean, he could even be like, if there was even like one or two lines throughout the game, the game, the entire game, about, and I mean, it's also nice that we'll sort of not let CERN conquer the world because they're a bunch of heartless monsters who want to kill everybody or something like that. Like maybe having him in like right here, he could have been like, I'm not doing it for Suzuha. I'm not doing it for the future. That's a nice bonus. Y yeah, but that's a nice bonus. As long as Mayuri lives, nothing else matters. Daru. <laughs> How dramatic! Okie dokie! We use the IBM 5100 to access CERN's central database. There, we will locate the first D mail I sent on July 28th and erase all trace of its existence. With this, I can reach the beta world line. That's why we have to stop now, because I imagine either the game <laughs> is about to end, or the excrement will make contact with the oscillating unit at high velocity. 